from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Indian Hill. Welcome to our fourth edition of Braves Beat. I'm Patrick Mullen. And I'm Dakota Condor. And for some unknown reason, I was approved for a second season. Anyways, we here at Braves Beat are proud to bring you this week's episode. Relatively proud. We hope that all of you enjoy this break from fifth period. Vaguely enjoy. Now let's get into the news. Put your headphones in now. The student government is sponsoring a food drive for Northeast Emergency Distribution Services beginning January 29th through February 9th. Students are asked to donate dry cereal, pasta sauce, canned tuna and chicken, liquid dish and laundry detergent and diapers to help supply their pantry. Our, fifth pe our period five classes will compete against one another to donate the greatest number of items and win a free breakfast or lunch. Have questions? Feel free to email Ann Kun. Let's rally behind this great cause and once again help families in need. The IHS team of Mark Colendo, Leo Lalamet, Radu Dragomirsu, and Asher Weinstein competed this week at the academic World Quest, a competition put on by the World Affairs Council of Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. In a nail-biting final round, your team from Indian Hill pulled out the win by one point. They earned a trip to national competition in April. Make sure to congratulate them in the halls when you see them. Dr. Miles was in school a few days ago and he wanted to show you all some of his basketball skills. Here, take a look. Today, I'm teaching the fundamentals of shooting a basketball. girls basketball team played Taylor Yellow Jackets with a winning score of 51 to 34. Celebrated for our wonderful seniors, Audrey Coster, Hannah Crittenden, and Kate Volmer with a highlight of the afternoon game. Thanks ladies for all your dedication and talent over the years. You're the real MVPs. Now that January is over, we have the Super Brave Awards to announce. Drum roll, please. Tommy Tower. Every eighth, the Soupy returns to IHHS once again. This great school wide community service project will only be one day. Students will be called down out of their English classes. Take a look at this video by me and Grace. Hi, this is Susie from La Soup. I'm the founder of La Soup, which is a nonprofit. We rescue produce from local grocers and farms and transform that into delicious and nutritious soups and meals for kids living in food insecurity. We also serve a lot of the agencies. I also rely heavily on volunteers, so we are so grateful to Indian Hill High School, who will be giving us all of your talent, and you will be slicing and dicing and packaging and portioning the food that we will be receiving on Tuesday and Thursday. So. Our goal is 5,000 pounds of food, which will be broken down. So go home this week, guys. Sharpen up your knife skills. Start learning how to use that veggie peeler because we're going to be cranking and cranking and cranking to try to feed as many kids as we can next week. Thanks for your help, Indian Hill. We really appreciate it. Last week, Indian Hill Marketing <laughs> traveled to UC Claremont to compete in DECA district competition. Your IH Braves had a eight. First place finishes, uh, seven second place finishes, 13 third place finishes, and two teams got fourth, which makes for over 40 people going to DECA State on March 9th through 10th. Let it go, hashtag DECA dominate, Braves. Last Friday, Indian Hills five mock trial teams competed against the 
50 teams at the Hamilton Con County District Mock Trial Tournament. Indian Hill went eight to two and sent four teams to the Regional Mock Trial Tournament. Way to go, Braves. Now we have a little message from our sponsors. Aren't you tired of this always happening? What's happening? Or this. Why? That's lame cereal. We'll get ready for that to be over. What's going on? Try Namadeo's, the hip new cereal that all Braves choose willingly. What? Don't question it. It's Damadeos. Damadeos embody all the six pillars. Excellence, opportunity, pride, leadership, integrity, and respect. But how? Don't question it. It's Damadeos. These are Cheerios. Damadeos for a complete Braves breakfast. Before suiting up for homecoming, two of the three Robox teams placed first in the Great Oaks, Ohio Southwest Vex Invitational, guaranteeing them a place in the Ohio State Tournament. Congrats, Braves. That's all for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, see us on Snapchat, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay classy, classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. What are you wearing? Uh, a military suit. This is military. Great apparel. 1950s military suit. All right. And then a, a suit from Abercrombie. I got this for Christmas. And I wanted to wear it. Nice. How was your winter homecoming, Kevin? It was awesome. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Really sweaty. I'm awesome. Not, yeah. Where did you get the inspiration for your outfit? My dad, he's really an inspirational figure in my life. He was just telling me, you know, go live your best life there at Hoko. And so, yes. shout out to Rob. Yes, Love. go Rob. Go. So how is your Indian Hill Winter Homecoming experience? There's blood on the ice. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand.